While some people find the prospect of total immersion in a foreign language enticing, romantic even, plenty of others shudder just thinking about it. And that's why they keep putting off moving abroad and lessening their tax burden. It can certainly feel isolating not knowing the language that the majority of people speak. Sure, you can get by with English at touristy spots and hire a local to help you navigate finding a property and the bureaucracy. But it's not quite the same as connecting with a place on a more personal level. So, if not being able to speak a second language is stopping you from living overseas and gaining tax advantages, don't let it. Languages can be learned and there are plenty of English-speaking countries where you won't need to worry about the language barrier. Number seven, South Africa. South Africa is a real gem in the English-speaking world. Picture this diverse cultures, mind-blowing landscapes, and some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. Now, get ready for a jaw-dropping fact. It's ranked 12th globally for English proficiency. Yep, you heard it right. With around 57 million folks calling it home, South Africans are like language wizards. Most of them can rock more than one language. English, being the cool cat it is, is the official language in many African countries. But guess what? South Africa is the lone ranger in the very high proficiency group. According to the big shots at the Education First English Proficiency Index, hold on to your hats, there's more. The country boasts a whopping 11 official languages, but when it comes to business and academics, English takes the stage. It's like the rock star of communication. Now, here's the real kicker. South Africa's got this crazy mix of languages and ethnic vibes, making it a must visit if you're into a fusion of city slickness and nature's jaw-dropping beauty. So, pack your bags and get ready for a linguistic roller coaster in the Rainbow Nation. Number six, Ireland. Ireland, the land of friendly chatter and rolling green hills, is your go-to if you fancy a good quality of life sprinkled with a dash of wit. With around 4,926,000 folks living their best lives, Ireland's got it all. Stunning landscapes, lively cities, and folks will welcome you with open arms. And hey, they've got a killer education scene. Trinity College Dublin is like the Beyonce of universities, attracting students from every nook and cranny of the globe. Now, if you're thinking about kicking back and enjoying your golden years, Ireland's got your back. From diving into the history books to soaking in the lively culture, there's always something to do. Dublin and Limerick are the cool cats of cities. History, culture, and a touch of modern sass. They've got it all. Dublin, in particular, is the life of the party. Think charming streets, a buzzing atmosphere, and people who'll chat your ear off in the best way possible. But wait, there's more. Ireland isn't just a retirement haven. It's also a hot spot for students looking to spice up their academic life. Study abroad in Dublin, Limerick, or Maynooth. They've got something for everyone. Overall, Ireland is your triple threat. Retirees paradise, traveler's dream, and student's haven. Top-notch living, kick-ass infrastructure, and a cultural heritage that's richer than your grandma's secret stew. Number five, New Zealand. All right, buckle up for a quick chat about New Zealand, or as they like to call it, Aotearoa A. A real Pacific paradise where Mother Nature went all out with stunning landscapes, friendly locals, and a lifestyle that's basically envy-inducing. Mountains, forests, coastlines. It's like someone dumped all the best bits of nature in one place. Outdoor enthusiasts, you've hit the jackpot. And the culture? It's like a mixtape of Maori vibes and European influences. English is the name of the game. So if you're from the States, you won't need a translator. Now, let's talk critters. Ever heard of a flightless kiwi? Yeah, they've got that. It's like a bird that forgot it had wings. Classic New Zealand. And don't get me started on the food. Dairy lamb, fresh and wallet friendly. A retiree's dream. But hold on, there's a plot twist. Immigration policies, they're not exactly throwing the doors wide open. You've got to navigate the visa maze and figure out the retiree perks. Lucky for you, there's a four-year tax-free honeymoon period for newcomers. Just get some solid tax advice because the tax man is no joke. So, in a nutshell, New Zealand's got the looks, the language, and the lifestyle for retirees, expats, and wanderers. But before you start packing, make sure you've got your immigration and tax game on point. It's like planning a heist. You gotta be smart about it. Cheers to Kiwi adventures! Number four, Australia. Australia, 
is like the cool kid on the block when it comes to retirement, travel, or just soaking in life. Think beautiful landscapes, lively cities, and a chill vibe that's practically contagious. Now, if you're into perfecting your English skills, Australia is the place to be. It's like an English boot camp, but with kangaroos. Plus, the beaches are not just stunning. They're like Instagram filters in real life. Retiring down, under has its perks, especially in the healthcare department. Australia's got a healthcare system that's the envy of the world. They've got this thing called Medicare, which means you can get top-notch medical treatment without burning a hole in your pocket. No kidding. And let's not forget the party of cultures happening there. Australia is a melting pot where you can taste the world, literally. From exotic dishes to wild festivals, it's a cultural buffet. Cities like Sydney and Melbourne, they're like art galleries on steroids, showcasing local and international talent. Fancy a dose of culture? Nature is showing off in Australia, too. Gold Coast beaches, check. Northern Territory's rugged outback, double check. And the wildlife, kangaroos, callus, wallabies. It's like living in a real-life episode of National Geographic. So, whether you're planning to retire, visit, or just spice up your life, Australia's got the goods. A top-tier English-speaking, haven with quality living, awesome healthcare, and a culture that's as diverse as it gets. Number three, Canada. Canada is like that cool friend who's got it all. Diversity, stunning landscapes, and a knack for making everyone feel at home. Retirees, expats, and travelers are all drawn to the great white north like moose to maple syrup. Its majestic mountains, crystal clear lakes, and forests so vast, they make your weekend plans look tiny. Nature lovers, rejoice. Canada's got your back. And it's not just about the great outdoors. The cities here are like the VIP section of the Global Safety Club. You can practically leave your front door unlocked without breaking a sweat. But wait, there's more. The healthcare system is top-notch. Education is on point, and social services are the cherry on top. Retirees, get ready to kick back with comprehensive healthcare and more activities than you can shake a hockey stick at. And let's talk about the economic and political game. Canada's acing that too. It's like the whole country is shouting, come on over, we've got it together. Now, if you're here to visit, buckle up. Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal are the rock stars of cities, culture, food, and entertainment that'll make your passport blush. Canadians? Oh, they're the friendliest bunch you'll ever meet. It's practically a national sport. In summary, Canada's got the perfect mix of beauty, safety, healthcare, and culture, the ultimate package for anyone eyeing retirement, a new home, or just a really awesome vacation. So why not join the party up north? Number two, United Kingdom. All right, buckle up, mate. The United Kingdom is like that cool friend you've always wanted to hang out with. Why? Well, first off, it's a hot spot for retirees, expats, and tourists. With a whopping 68 million English speakers, it's basically an English extravaganza. It's a place with a rich history, diverse culture, and a standard of living so high. It's practically doing acrobatics. The healthcare, public services, and transportation are like the Avengers of infrastructure top notch and ready for now let's talk retirement the uk has options galore for leisure cultural events museums and landscapes so scenic they'll make your eyes do a happy dance mild climate in some spots check healthcare game strong double check and hey being a stone's throw away from europe means you can easily turn your retirement into a continent hopping adventure live in the expat life the UK's got you covered with a job market as diverse as a bag of assorted candies, educational opportunities that'll make your brain do a victory dance, and a multicultural society that's basically a global party. The economy is flexing, the cities are buzzing, and the public transportation is smoother than a James Bond getaway scene. Visitors, listen up. The UK isn't just about tea and crumpets, though those are pretty awesome. Iconic landmarks like the Tower of London and Buckingham Palace are waiting for your Instagram debut. The Scottish Highlands, nature's way of showing off. And don't even get me started on the food. It's a taste bud carnival. Whether you're retiring, expating, or just touring, the UK is basically the red carpet of destinations. Get your bags ready, because this is where the good times roll. Number one, United States. Well, buckle up, folks, because the United States is throwing the biggest English-speaking party on the planet. 
We've got a whopping 332 million people who know their way around the English dictionary. It's like an English bonanza, and you're invited? Now picture this. From the sunny vibes of Florida to the city that never sleeps, New York, and the glam of Los Angeles, the U.S. is like a buffet of cultures, landscapes, and skyscrapers. And oh, did we mention landmarks? We've got the Grand Canyon, the Statue of Liberty doing her thing, and the Golden Gate Bridge being all golden and gatish. Living here. It's the bee's knees. Great health care, a fancy standard of living, and an economy that flexes its muscles. Retirees, you'll be living the dream, surrounded by retirement communities with all the bells and whistles. And guess what? We've got tax incentives too. Because who doesn't love saving a few bucks? But hold on, travelers. We've got something for you too. Bright lights, big city vibes in Las Vegas, or maybe you're more of a nature lover, Yellowstone National Park has your back. Plus, there's an arts and culture scene that's fancier than a penguin in a tuxedo. Museums, galleries, theaters, we've got it all. We've got diversity landscapes and cities that'll make your head spin in a good way. So why not join the party? America's got something for everyone. And with this, we have reached the end of this video. If you found it helpful, then make sure to like it and subscribe the channel for future upcoming videos.